I wouldn't hold your phone. I wouldn't hold your phone. Okay. I wouldn't hold your phone. First stop. Sit down, Tina Bay. Call your passenger pod. Hook up with the primary propulsion module. Tina Bay, are you ready? Roger. Here we go. Okay, folks. Deep breath. Heads up. Eyes open. Stay focused. That's so tight. Grab your socks oh and relax. You're on your way. Just challenge it, Sam. Opportunities. Unless you consider a massively destabilized gyro, I can send a whole kit and caboodle on a nosedive into the bottom muck. A problem? Sorry for the delay, folks. Uh, by the way, we're talking to Master Technician Bob Barstow, and he's in charge of... How you doing, folks? I'm just going to look under the hood here. Uh, Jan, you don't happen to have a Phoenix Phillips head on you, do you? No. How about anybody on board there? You got a 3 8 No. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'd like you to assure the passengers that you're okay. Oh, yeah, I'm having a great time. Yeah, I'm and good. everything is fine. Oh, yeah, she's good. Can I get the door slipped around your stomach? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Daddy. Oh, yes, Daddy. Oh, yes, Daddy. Oh, yes, Daddy. Of all ages. Oh, my God. You don't even need to hold on. Direct out of bed. One of the best high ships. There's no point holding this. Just put your hands up in the air. So there aren't any in Lake Ontario, which is all fresh water, and the water is very cold. That's why these ships are in such a great shape. It's sort of a nice learning skill, isn't it? That's a good way to put it. Oh, that one's a tip. Okay, we're ready to launch the drifting weather buoy. Here we go. Ah, well, that explains the strange temperature. Guys, put your hands up. Step away from the buoy. Hands up. Three, two, one. This buoy will help meteorologists keep an eye on Lake Ontario, which is a big impact on our weather. This is the only reason we can so much moving. If we're in the snowiest populated area this side of the No way! You can see the back people A straight shelled cephalopod. Thoughts are looking right at me. It's only a fossil, Bob, but they were giants up to 12 feet long. Early oh, God! Exactly. They're all going to These fossils are 450 million years good? old, but Lake Ontario is only about 10,000 years old. So these cephalopods couldn't have lived on the bottom of the lake. How did they get here? Before my time, Jan. The fossils are here because glaciers scraped down from the north, dug out tons of rock, exposed these fossils, and created Lake Ontario. Ooh. Jan, remember how I always say there are no problems, only opportunities? Yes, Bob, and it's frankly uh, quite annoying. Fine, but from where I sit, it looks like we're doing about 35 uh, knots on a major Oh, Jesus! 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 Oh, Jesus!